Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name's Inside A Gamer. Welcome to GTA 5 and welcome to the British Emergency Roleplay 5M server that's dedicated to this channel. This is our very own server. Uh, it is a roleplay server with a British theme. So today we are starting episode number one of our roleplay and the backstory for our fella here. This is Connor Murphy. So Connor Murphy is from the States. Uh, he's fallen into a bit of trouble with a couple of gangs, owed a lot of money, a lot of death threats. He was worried for his life. So what he has done, he's come to move in with his great auntie over here in England. So a few things about the map that we can see. You can see that it is an English based. If we come in and zoom out here, you can see that we got uh, Canning Town, Isles of Dog, Westminster, etc, etc. So we, we live up here with our auntie and uh, she owns both of the farms here top of the map now unfortunately for me she doesn't want me to work on farm one today she's sending me over to farm two which is up it so up at Polito Bay we're going heading up that way we're gonna have a look around the town um, we have a little bit of money in our pocket uh, we took everything that we had left and I've been lucky enough to be lent her car as well here we go this is her car uh, she's got a lovely Ford Fiesta is it? Yeah, Ford Fiesta RS uh, that she's going to lend us for the time being. Wouldn't mind picking up one of these myself, to be honest. Uh, so look, we're going to get into the car. We have lots to do today. We need to go up to the main farm. We need to go get a bucket. We need to get a knife. We need to get some milk uh, and do some stuff with the crops. So we've got plenty to do today and that's what we're going to do. Okay, so seatbelt on before we get out the car doesn't have much fuel maybe she isn't that kind to us we'll have to go get some fuel so I have been testing this server in live streams uh, for the last kind of two or three weeks while we've been building it hopefully some of you guys have uh, caught up with that if not I will put a link at the top right corner now for you guys to check that out if you wish uh, so yeah we have been showcasing the server all the new bits all the new jobs everything that you can do uh, we'll probably do a couple more live streams like that uh, this itself though is going to be a video series and hopefully you guys will get to see the backstory a bit more do we you know do we go good do we go bad there's a lot of ways we can go here at the moment we're going to try and earn some harder money working for our auntie and in her farms and of course we don't want to destroy her car either as we head out into the highway very quickly as we head out uh, we are still looking for filling the main positions of um, EHS or NHS workers for the paramedics and stuff the doctors we're still looking for some police officers. Uh, we've got lots of other whitelisted jobs, car dealers, mechanics that are still available as well. There's plenty available for everybody. You can pretty much choose what you want to choose. Okay, so getting out of this main road is not going to be easy. We could be here a while, hey. I've never known cars to just stop for people. Okay, but now we're on the highway. We'll move over lanes. We are on the national speed limit now. 75.80. Be careful that our speed camera is around on the map as well.
Okay, so we're gonna pass our first shop and petrol station. So what we'll do, like I said, we've got a couple hundred dollars in the back pocket. We are gonna pull in and we're gonna get some fuel. We're gonna check out the supermarket, maybe pick up a couple of items that we might need. Really? I don't want to hit auntie's car already. We'll go down to the end. There we go. So we're going to check out the shop, the local area. So we're going to turn off our engine, take off our seatbelt, and uh, we're going to jump out of the car here. Okay, let's refuel the vehicle. Okay, so this is quite an expensive cost already. Lucky uh, we have a little bit of money to play with. Okay, tank is full. Press E to purchase. Joe can. No, well, oh, good there. Uh, so we've got the fuel. Uh, so we're going to pop over to the shop. Uh, we're going to see what we can uh, pick up. Might be able to get a snack for lunch. Nice M&S. Ooh, some nice uh, ring donuts. Hmm. Don't mind if I do. Okay, so let's have a look in the shop. What have we got? So, we've got some bandages, Snickers, Twerks. <laughs> Love the naming. Uh, so you know what? We've got a decent, uh, decent amount here. We got ID card, driving license, and a phone to start with. I'm going to purchase a lighter, some rolling papers. Um, I'm definitely going to get ourselves a sandwich for lunch. Let's get ourselves a snack. Let's get a couple of bandages because you never know if anyone's online to help us. And uh, yeah, maybe a beer for this evening as well. And I think that's all good for from us for the moment. Lovely. At least we got some lunch. We've got a hard day on the fields today, our first day. Okay, seatbelt on. So there is a second hand, uh, oh look there's a lovely diner here that we can check, there is a second hand car dealer that we will be able to go check out possibly, we might be able to find something in the second hand market. That'd be pretty nice wouldn't it? So what we need to do is we need to go talk to our auntie's uh, farm manager. Hopefully he will give us a bucket. Okay, and we've received a paycheck of $10 which because we're on uh, national benefits we do get ten dollars every ten minutes because we're very lucky okay let's uh, park the car uh, his car here out we get uh, we need to make sure we lock the car as well Make sure no one steals it. She'll be pretty mad with us. Okay. So we need to grab our bucket and we need a knife. Perfect. Okay, lovely. Now, I think we're going to have to go to town to set up a bank account anyways. So we will need to look at doing something like that. So we now, now that we've got the cows, we should be able to milk them. And that's one thing that we want to be picking up. Here they are. 
Uh, we can also slaughter these cows for meat. Please let me milk you. Uh, do I need to put that bucket in my inventory? Probably. Okay, maybe uh, we're not allowed to milk this cow. Maybe uh, it's slaughter day here. Okay, let's milk our cow. I think them ones are going to slaughter. Okay, we're growing a couple of buckets of milk. Uh, Auntie wanted us to get at least 15 buckets of milk today. Feel like I'm throwing more milk on myself than anything else. Okay, what do we got? I've got six buckets so far. We call this getting there. And what we'll do, we'll take this milk to the processing plant later today. And I don't know why I'm rubbing myself in milk. I suppose the Irish do like milk. Okay, that's milking the cow done. Like I said, we're not. These are going to harvest, but uh, that's that's not my job today. That's somebody else's. I'm too new on the job. I'm not. I'm not allowed to uh, slaughter the animals just as yet. Okay, what I want to do is uh, just put some of this into the boot of the car, possibly. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to put my buckets of milk into the trunk. Uh, while we're here as well, I'm also going to put my bucket in the boot. I'm going to put my beer so I don't get in trouble. And I'm going to put a bandage. We'll keep the knife and we'll keep the lighter. Lovely. As you can see, we've got all our stats down here. Okay, lock the car again. Okay, so our next job is to come out into the fields. We're going to pick some apples. We're in the wrong clothing for this job. Okay, so up into the apple tree. Look at these guys all slacking off.
Okay, we're not getting many apples from this tree anymore. We'll go up to the next one. Okay. Uh, hello, guys. I I'm new here. My name's Connor. Uh, where where do I find the cornfields? Does anyone know where I find the cornfields? No, 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 no English. Can I can I grab a smoke off you there? No. Okay. Uh, they clearly, uh, clearly not very talkative back here, and they clearly don't like me. Okay, uh, we do need to go down to the cornfield, but first we're going to have a look up here. We need to pick a few bits and pieces up here. So we're going to get some grapes. And we'll take this down to the food processing plant where we'll be making cans of food. Okay, that'll do us for some grapes. get some green peppers okay very nice got a couple of green peppers in hand Get some chili peppers now. Make some chili paste. Okay, these are also grapes. Okay, I think we've gone too far. They're all trees. There should be a patch of pumpkins. I know she said that we definitely need to get some pumpkins. Right, they're green peppers. Okay, we've got our government uh, paycheck. We found the tomatoes. Okay, we just need to... Okay, so getting a couple of tomatoes.
Okay, we're gonna go head into our next field. It's not you. I know there's some cucumbers around here and some pumpkins, but maybe they are over the other side, possibly. Okay. We'll head back this way. We're going to head off to the uh, the other field here. Now, it is better for us to uh, probably take our car over. Again, I just want to fill the trunk up a little bit. We'll unlock the car. Okay, I want to toggle the trunk, but we have to be really close. Okay, we're going to throw our tomatoes in the car, our chilies, our peppers, and our grapes. What I am also going to have is have a little bit of lunch. There we go. Lovely. It is getting quite late in the day. We need to hurry up. Here's all our pumpkins that she wanted us to pick. I think she wanted to make some uh, pumpkin pie for dinner. So we'll pick about five or six of these. Okay, guys, it's getting very late. We really gotta uh, lock the car again. She's gonna wonder where we've been all day. Okay, we gathered our corn.
Okay, so we need to be heading back home. We're not going to make it in time uh, for the food processing, unfortunately. Okay, we need to find our road out. I believe we need to go back on ourselves to get out because we do have a ditch on the right-hand side. Uh, so our very first day of work hasn't been uh, too bad. We've uh, done some farm work. My guy is uh, wrecked. We were supposed to go down to the food processing plants before the end of the day, so we're going to have to do that. And it is a little bit late into the evening, but we can at least drop off the ingredients for tomorrow. Okay, so there is the uh, processing plants. Uh, we won't be going there today. Okay, we are back home for the evening. Perfect. Let's turn the car off, seatbelt off. We're going to head out of the car here and we're going to go in and we're going to go to bed and we'll see you all in the morning. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a new day. Uh, we uh, got a few little bits to do. We need to head over to the processing plants. Uh, I need to drop off these vegetables that were picked yesterday for auntie. Uh, so we're just going to bring up the map, uh, show you where we're going to go. So we do have a couple of shops in town, actually. We should probably go check them out at some point. I want to go have a look at the pigs, too. Uh, but first things first, uh, we're going to head off to the dairy plant. That is our first job of the day. Uh, we're going to drop off that milk. 
so they can process it into milk bottles, which means uh, we can sell it for more profits. I'm going to do this nice and early because we would need to uh, get all this delivered fairly early in the day down in this city. Now, because we're quite far away, my auntie does use uh, transport methods such as lorries and planes. So she has told us on the side if we can afford it, I'm going to need to start getting some flying lessons. Uh, once we get our pilot's license, she might even allow us to take some of the stuff into the main city for us. As well as that, I need to go get my truck license. We've only got a car license at the moment, so we will need to go off and get the truck license. Again, I won't be able to get that until the main city. So at the moment, we have to deal with the deliveries that I have to make in my car. Anyways, we are here. Okay, let's just get out of the car. What I do need to do is go into the uh, into the back here because I think this is where the milk is. So we got some corn on the cob we can leave in here. I want to change my buckets of milk over. Okay, so we got the milk out of the back. Let's go talk to Pedro. Uh, morning Pedro, I need to uh, change up some of this milk, bring some of the milk bottles back with me if we could please for my auntie. Okay, so we've got quite a bit of milk to uh, trade out this morning. 13 bottles from the cows. Okay, I think that's us nearly uh, transferred. Yeah, we've got two more buckets. Okay, and this should be all of our buckets. Uh, okay, I've only got one milk left. There's not much I can do with one milk, but we have 24 bottles of milk. Thank you, good sir. Uh, we'll see you again very soon. So, we are going to head into the car. We're going to store some of these items before we head up to the food processing. So, we've got 24 bottles of milk. We're now going to swap you over. I've got an extra thing left over as well okay we are going to move over now all our vegetables because we'll only have to do it once we get there that's all good okay i'm going to leave the paper and light it is in there for the minute because we are going to be getting some goods okay back to the car and we're now heading over to the food processing okay not too far to go
Okay, so the food processing is the other side of the field here. I think we can go all the way around. Can we get our car all the way around? No, maybe not. Okay. What we might have to do is just park the car up here for the minute. Okay, we're going to cross the road. Uh, we'll know for next time, can we bring the car through? Uh, we can, but it's a bit muddy. We want to get stuck in this mud now. Okay. This is Bill, guys. Let's have a little chat with Bill. Hello, Bill. Come here to uh, process some of the food into cans for, for my auntie. Okay, so here we can make apple juice, pumpkin pies, grape juice, canned corn, hot sauce, and tomato paste. So look, let's make some apple juice. So one apple gives you uh, oh, three amounts of apples for one apple juice. That's not too bad. Uh, let's get some more apple juice. Not sure how many we have left. I think we picked quite a few apples, didn't we? Uh, we've got exactly three apples left. That is a perfect amount of picking yesterday. Lovely. Okay, let's talk to the farmer then. I also want to make some pumpkin pies. Okay, one pumpkin makes three pies. Okay, more pumpkin pies being made. Let's make some tomato paste. Let's make some hot sauce. Four tomatoes makes uh, one jar of tomato paste. Make canned corn. Three chilies make one hot sauce bottle. Two corn for one can. Okay, we need to see what products we have left. Uh, got a couple of tomatoes, chilies, so quite a few grapes. So there's quite a lot here. This is good. Uh, be great if we could do multiples. So by getting it processed, now we can sell raw ingredients down at the markets, but uh, it's obviously not worth as much as uh, trading this out.
Okay, we've done all the pumpkins. Okay, so finally we've uh, processed all of our items. We can head back to the car. Uh, lucky for us, uh, we are done with work for the rest of the day. We can now go and relax. We worked quite hard over the last few days. And tomorrow will be delivery day for a lot of this stuff. There we go. Uh, let's have a look at our inventory. Okay, so we can throw in our cans of corns. Uh, we got some hot sauce, grape juice. We got some apple juice made. We've got loads of pumpkin pies. Uh, has left me with a couple of bits and pieces left over and that's not a problem because um, we can use these why the hell not right let's, uh, let's pop in back into the car then let's have a look around what have we got uh, there's not much really here. We're going to go up and see the pigs before the end of the episode. So again, as always, if any of you would like to come join our roleplay server, you are more than welcome. It is free to all. 
Discord link is in the description down below. Come say hello. Come join us. Why not? Uh, like I said, we are looking for lots of other players, really trying to populate it. It's not too bad at the moment. We're getting quite a few online. But obviously, it'd be nice if we can get a few more, really, wouldn't it? Do you think they'd stop for me? Won't be long before we're going to need some new tyres on this thing. Okay, so the pigs eat soybeans and, and uh, that kind of stuff. Not sure where we get it from, and honestly, probably somewhere here on the farm, I'd imagine. Okay, let's just pull over here. It's okay, it's my farm. No one can say anything. Let's go say hello to the pigs. Here they are. Probably can use them for meat, right? I can pet, feed, or slaughter. Well, what do I feed it? Yeah, soybeans, I thought so. Let's pet the pig. Maybe we should name the pig. Does anyone want to be named after the pig? Your stress was relieved. Okay, there we go. You feel more relaxed petting pigs. Uh, so we can slaughter the pigs. Um, that will give us more items to be able to make over the processing plant. I mean, compared to cows, there's a lot of pigs. Shall we, shall we see what pig meat might be worth? I feel really awful doing this. This is not what I want to do. Please don't look. I'm slaughtering babe. Okay, what are you going to give me? Pork chops? What do you reckon? Oh, this giving us sausages, raw pork, raw ham, and bacon. Oh, wow, okay. Didn't realize we got so much from uh, a pig. Uh, that is crazy. But animals take a long time to respawn, so we do need to be careful. If you take a few out, it's going to take quite a while for them to respawn, just so you know. Okay. Let's... Uh, Don't know if they're talking to me or they're talking to somebody else. Right. Other than that, that is it. We we do have a little shop just around the corner that we can be using, which is quite nice. Handy for the fuel. We could do some hunting out here actually. We got a half tank of fuel, so we will fill up because we will need to go back into the city. I'm hoping that it's gonna work. There we go. Went quite close enough.
Seems to be costing us uh, about four dollars a litre. This. And we do have a little store here. Maybe we can get a job here. Don't really need too much. I wouldn't mind a couple of bottles of water. Do they not stack? No, oh, they can. How many can I stack? And then we'll put them in the car. Maybe we can stack as many as we want. Okay, we'll get 10, and then I'm never going to have a problem, am I? Uh, same for a couple of Sarnies. Yeah, okay, we can get these to snack, uh, stack as well. Food and drink are always important to have on you. There we go. Thank you, good sirs. We do need to go to a bank and get our debit card. We have $35 left. That's all I have left of the cash. So there we have it, guys. I'm going to leave it there. Um, you know, not too much is happening, uh, but we got our basic job. You know, we're, we're working on the farm. We're going to be taking some food down to the city. Uh, once we go into the city, there's a few things that I need to be doing. Uh, we need to go to the likes of the bank so we can uh, get our debit card, set up a bank account, something that we need to do as well. So, yeah, there's so much for us to be doing. There's all kinds of different jobs, bits and pieces maybe that we can get involved in at some point as well. I would like, like I said, we will need to go do our pilot license training. That will have to happen so we can fly goods down as well, which would be a lot faster for us. You can see there is, will be an airport down and around here. So anyways, let me know what you guys think of this. Is this something that you would like to continue watching? Uh, I, I have to work out the way I'm going to edit things, how much I'm going to cut out, how much you guys want to actually see. There's lots that I need to kind of work out as we go along. Never really done anything like this with GTA before. Uh, so we're just giving it a good go, basically. And we're back home. So there we have it, guys. That is episode number one done uh, with Connor Murphy. Let me know, would you want to see more? Like I said, hit that like button. Come join us in Discord. Come join us on the Roleplay server. Come join us in the live streams that we're doing. And other than that, myself, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.